So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I use my phone as a external monitor. As you can see, my setup right here is my Nikon Z50, but it's flipped towards me. And you guys knowing the Nikon Z50, it does not have a flippy Audi screen, which is why, as you can see right here, is my secondary monitor so I can see whether or not I am recording. And that is the little hack. So I'm gonna show you exactly in this video how you connect your phone to your camera so you can use your own phone as a monitor so you don't have to worry about HDMI cables and all that. So right here is my Nikon Z50 camera, but the same thing applies whether you have a Sony or a Canon. They all have their propriety apps within the App Store. So look on your company's website and the brand's website and see if they have an app. For me, it is a Nikon Z50, so I have something called SnapBridge. So the easiest way to see if your camera is capable of this technology is you want to go into the settings menu, and you want to go up into the setup menu. And as you can see, there's connect to smart device, connect to PC. And if your camera allows you to connect to a smart device, you go to that. And as you can see, there's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth pairing. If your camera has these two options, you are definitely a good candidate to download this app because there is that Wi-Fi and GPS signal built in within your camera. So all you need to do now is you need to either A, establish Wi-Fi connection. So your wi your camera has Wi-Fi connection, so you connect that directly to your phone, as you can see right here. Or you connect with via Bluetooth, and you can start pairing just like any other Bluetooth headphone or speaker, exact same way. So make sure it is capable. Going on to step two, what you want to do is put your camera to the side. If you have enabled Wi-Fi connection, you will see that the Z50 right here, tap on that. So there's two options. You can connect this via Bluetooth. So what I want to do is I go into my camera right here, connect to smart device, Bluetooth pairing, start pairing. So what I personally do is I connect the SnapBridge app via Wi-Fi mode because the app itself with Bluetooth gets a little, you know, doesn't connect all the time. Sometimes there's glitches. So all I do is I go in the app, click the icon here, and I go to Wi-Fi mode. You go to your camera, establish Wi-Fi connection. It will give you your password and your, your uh, SSID. Once it is connected, you will see connected to smart device, connected to camera via Wi-Fi, press OK. And now what you have here is connection to your phone via Wi-Fi mode. So there's two things you can do. You can download all the photos that you've taken from your camera straight into your phone. Or what I like to do for my little hack of external monitor is I go to remote photography. I hit that. The LCD on your camera Z50 will actually turn off, right? But now I have a live view preview exactly of that on my camera. So now my entire phone's camera right here is acting as the back panel of this camera. So what I can do now is I go into record. As you can see, I can record video straight from my phone by pressing that. I can pause. I can switch this back into camera mode. I can take a photo, as you can see. I can change the settings of this. I can have live view on and off. You want to have that on so you can have that preview timer. You can download the picture qualities, right? Have a preview of the camera's pictures that you take taken on your camera. Download straight to the phone. Original format are two megapixels. I have that off. And what I really like about this app is I can control all the settings on my phone. So what I do now is let's say it's too dark. Bump up the ISO. I increase the ISO on my phone, which affects the camera. Same with aperture, shutter speed, as well as white balance. The only thing you can change on here is let's say I wanna change the autofocus modes, right? That's something that you have to do within your camera and you wanna reconnect that app and do that again. You can see program mode, but I go to manual. 
And that's how simple it is of you using the SnapBridge app, connecting via Wi-Fi. I don't recommend using Bluetooth because I have glitches with it, I have errors. Wi-Fi is what's the most reliable for me. And now, as you can see, I am connected from my phone and I'm using my camera as essentially uh, external monitor so I can see exactly what is going on with my own you know monitor because of the Nikon Z50 doesn't let you have a little articulate screen up it does down and all that right you know with the screen it's my little workaround of how I use my own phone as a secondary monitor and I hope this video was able to help you out and now guys you know the secret of how you connect your phone to your camera of course, not all camera models, especially if the older ones can do this, but if your camera has the ability to send to smart device or connect to a PC, chances are there is already a proprietary app within the Play or the Apple Store that you can download on your phone and connect all through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi your phone to your camera. And if this video was able to help you, let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next. And if you want to get serious about video editing content creation, check out my course where I show you how you get your first video job and how you make your first thousand dollars as a content creator. My name is Peter, you're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.